English spoken. In my childhood, some elderly English ladies with whom my parents kept up relations often gave me books as presents. Richly illustrated works for the young, also a small green Bible bound in Morocco leather. All were in the language of the donors. Whether I could read it, none of them paused to reflect. The peculiar inaccessibility of the books, with their glaring pictures, titles, and vignettes, and their indecipherable text, filled me with the belief that in general objects of this kind were not books at all, but advertisements, perhaps for machines like those my uncle produced in his London factory. Since I came to live in Anglo-Saxon countries and to understand English, this awareness has not been dispelled but strengthened. There is a song by Brahms to a poem by Hiss with the lines, O Herzeled du Ewigkeit, Selbender nur ist Selikite. In the most widely used American edition, this is rendered as, O misery eternity, but two in one were ecstasy. The archaic, passionate nouns of the original have been turned into catchwords for a hit song designed to boost it. Illuminated in the neon lights switched on by these words, culture displays its character as advertising.